brush over through this real quick because I didn't have enough time to go with through it at the end and I missed off when I was talking about angels but I hope that you get the, the gist of what I was saying can I talk with my sisters for a moment I cannot be mad at you for dating outside of your race if you choose your own first but I don't want you to be alone I ask that you submit to whoever you choose to love if it's not a man of God you will be cursed you cannot wear the pants and the dress in the relationship so let me go over this real 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 fast now my beautiful black queens out there I do not want you to be alone I looked at the statistics of how many male versus females are in this country and it's one to two for every one black male for every one brother there's two sisters so I can't be mad at you I can't be mad at you for dating outside your rest but outside your race but you got to understand you got to submit to a man of God and you cannot be date you cannot wear the pants and you can't wear the dress you can only wear the dress that's where the submission comes in that you know what I'm saying so by you choosing an ungodly man you will be cursed I'll leave it like that I good I get more into it when I get more time when God speaks to you either directly or he sends someone, man or woman of God to answer your questions with his enlightenment. So it's two ways God is going to talk to you. He's either going to send somebody to answer your question or he's going to talk directly to you. If you are listening, if you are headed and you, you, you drown out God. He's going to send somebody to you to answer your question. If you're not drowning out without, without influences in this world, you should be able to hear God perfectly, perfectly clear. Okay, let's keep on going. I only got a couple more. As we gain more knowledge, we never plateau in God's word. You will never be able to do the full will of the Father. Now... By you being a child, a child of God, you is not supposed to stay on one level. You are constantly supposed to get more knowledge and more knowledge and more knowledge and more knowledge. And from you plateauing on one level, you will never be able to reach what God is really asking of you in your life. So you got to gain more knowledge, get more knowledge, keep on learning, keep on study to show yourself approved. You have to keep on learning, keep on getting more knowledge. You cannot plateau at one level. It's not going to work that way. How God going to use you? Let's move forward. Listen to what God is telling you to do. You will fight against your your own your own flesh, but given to what the Father is asking of you, you might miss a blessing. Now, when God asks us to do something, we don't want to do it. We fight against it. We fight against our own flesh. The devil asks you to do something. Some some people, the wicked, they run to do the evil. They run to do what he say. But you a child of God. And you up over here flight, fighting with your flesh, not wanting to give in to what the Father is personally asking of you. You will miss your blessing. You will miss your blessing. Any glorious thing that the Father has prepared for you, you won't get it because you wasn't listening when he wanted you to step out on faith and do something for him. God wants to use you to bless other people and to reach other people. I'm off of it. Let's get to the next one. Now, brothers and sisters, prayer time starts at 9 to 10 o'clock. Come on in. Come on in in the spirit and magnify God's name. Gain some of his glory, his prayers with the sons and daughters of God. Come and get some of these good blessings, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Now, I'm telling you, family, come get yourself some of these good blessings. God has a store for you. Come magnify God's name. Come give him his glory. He gave you his grace all day. You can at least show up at nine o'clock and give him some of the glory. You can you can magnify his name. You can take this time to get some of these blessings and to be a symbol. Some of y'all don't even go to church. Some of y'all don't even be a symbol in the house of God. But if you take this prayer hour, no matter where you are in the earth, you will be in the same and assemble with the saints, sons and daughters of God. So I'm asking you, family, it's on at nine o'clock. We sending up massive prayers. We sending up holy prayers. We glorifying God's name. We're doing a whole lot at nine o'clock. And if you want to get a blessing and you want to come get some, come get some at nine o'clock. It's on you. Let y'all. This is a family event. Bring your children. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all pray at the same time. I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart in Jesus Christ's name. I know the camera gonna.